the boy the record we out here for another video um you know we got another shoe video on the way it's time to get right gotta get y'all kick game up so uh yeah let's get into it so off the rip y'all can probably tell what this shoe is um this is the you know air force one it's the travis scott the one that uh was not all white or sail white as they want to call it for the other one that they dropped uh this is that all colorful you know different patchwork type of thing um yeah i know the colors are you know not exactly the same because 2k doesn't give us that much freedom with the customization on the sh on some shoes other than others but i mean as far as lining up the colors go um i got them fairly you know similar obviously we don't have the same patterns that like belt loop on the back with the buttons on it that has the um missouri city texas labels on them and stuff um but yeah for, as far as the colors go when you just have these colors and you um you know rock them in the park and your feet are always moving around you're running doing dribble moves all that it looks solid so the base i'm gonna just pull up the colors in the color palette because i already made this shoe i already got it set and done i've been wearing them for a while now um but yeah you got you know here's the numbers i'll leave them on screen you can pause it uh if i go too fast but yeah so here's this one you start with this purple you know get your purple right uh, make a fabric um makes it a lot easier it looks better also come down go to the uh, base accent make this fabric as well just change the materials because I'm telling you when you change the materials it can change the entire way the shoe looks and it looks a lot better that way so you're gonna come to the color paddle again there's your numbers for those like I said pause it if you want to and keep it moving because we got a lot of layers to go through with this got the toe go to the color palette and you got this is the uh, the toe box like the top of it um, it's that dark navy blue that you have there so you can all of you match those numbers get those same colors that I got because I know everybody's display that they're watching these videos on is different so the colors might look different so if you want the shoe to look exactly how I have it and you know as close to the colors as possible then you do this all right so then we got this this is gonna be your um, I believe this is the uh, the toe accent so this is like the you know the, the stuff going around the toe um, not on the top of the toe box so make a fabric again make sure you got it all right um, yeah so this is the color palette that you're gonna need and the numbers are there let's keep moving you know we got a lot of stuff to get through as I said before so let's go in here and go to the color palette on the sole here you go that's how you make your gum soles I recommend doing this for you know a lot of you because this is a color that you're gonna want to use in the future I'm already knowing that I'm gonna make another shoe another video on this that actually has this color so save this color right here this is the outsole this is the gum sole that you need so you want to save this and make sure you keep it in your uh, colors that you're going to use. Add it to your favorites or whatever. Go up to the midsole. You know, it's just white. It's not hard to figure out. You guys can figure out a white midsole accent. Same thing, just white. And the shoe eyelet. Go to the color palette. It's the same as the toe box. So you're just going to copy that one over, basically. Um, and it'll come up in your recent colors. We're going to go to the heel. The heel is the pattern, the blue camo. I'll show you guys exactly which one it is. It is this one right here up in the top right and then that's what you get for that um, you can make it gray if you want that also works I like how the blue looks because it gives it a little more pop um, the lining gray the tongue is a pattern as well it is this pattern right here boom put that on there keep it moving tongue accent um, I think I added a pattern to this as well. Yeah, the tongue accent I did. You don't have to add anything to this. I just did because it looks good with it. Um, those those I you know those lace loops aren't even on the actual ones, so you don't need that really. But uh, yeah, just match, do whatever you want with that. Um, yeah, I'm just put that back on. All right, then go to the laces. I did like a darkish purple. Um, the real ones are actually like a brown. I just wanted to be a little bit different. I put the purple on. But yeah, if you want the actual color, it's like a brown. The dark brown faded. Then go to the swoosh. Go to your color palette up here. And then boom, you got the color for the swoosh. It's like a faded yellow. Almost almost the exact same color as this, just a little bit different. Alright, so now come up to and make that uh swoosh. I made a leather just because the material looks a lot better that way. Uh toe logo, same as the toe box and all that. There's your colors there. 238, 121. 56 and 1. Alright, then you come up. Let's go to the logo. And we are on the color palette. And this is the logo on the, um, like the 
midsole, like the air logo. You can do that. Come up. The tongue logo is the patch over the tongue. There's your numbers for that. So you can uh, get your kicks right. You know, have the right colors. All right. And then same color for this one. So you don't even have to see this one. Um, the heel logo. This one in the back. Color palette. It's the same as the toe box and all that. So copy that over if you will, you know, do your thing. And then that's all you really need. I mean, then you got this. You'll come out to this product, you know, save it. All right, so that's really all you need. Um, you know, you got the, all the colors right. If it looks like this, you did it right. Um, it'll probably look a little bit different for you because everybody, obviously, everyone's displays are different. Um, so, yeah, but, I mean, to get those actual accurate colors to mind, just, you know, follow the numbers that I have that I put up on screen when I put the color palette. Um, you know, save the shoe as whatever you want to save it as. And uh, you'll be all set. You'll be able to go rock them in the park. You'll be able to, um, you know stunt on people with a shoe that most people i haven't seen a single person wearing these besides myself so it's uh it's kind of cool to know that you're like one of the only people that got this certain shoe it is gonna look good um you know when you're in the park and when you're in pro-am or whatever because in pro-am for example um in pro-am it takes the patches off it for these patches on the laces it doesn't register for some reason so it looks even better so yeah uh that's about all for the video I pretty much covered everything that you need to know um, you should have all the little details that you need to make the shoe as accurately as possible. But yeah, to the next video. I'm the record. Get him out. Peace.